don't. What if I did this <clears throat> the whole time? Look, what if I did that? What like if I did this? this? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they do that when i'm working i'm usually not in a wig that can these can fit over the head do you do this when you dj like a doctor which doctor would that be like a stethoscope oh right yeah is that <laughs> is that dr dre dr D- dr yeah. monica demonico of yeah. the sex change clinic in bethesda maryland you gotta watch soap dish i've seen it i keep telling you i've seen it okay well that's our first We've topic. talked about it for years don't you remember you used to go, David, 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 and we would talk about Soap Dish? Don't you remember we would talk about taking, um, when Whoopi takes Sally Fields to the mall to feel famous? Do you remember all the times we talked about, you think of fucking gay yesterday? Never seen Soap Dish. Bitch. Okay, I need you to calm down. <laughs> David Mason has never seen Soap Dish. And oh. that's the one blind spot in his huge category, or his huge sense. catalogs of references. Usually people who look Celeste. like- Celeste. Yeah. People who look like him, usually they uh, lost a few years in the 2000s, let's say. <laughs> The, the no? 90s. The 90s. The yeah. ni- it was 1992, I think. Yeah, things get muddy. <laughs> Worry doll. We got these in Mexico. People kept giving these to us. Hola. The internet says they're supposed to protect you from evil. And after about our eighth one, I said, what do you know? What's <laughs> coming mama. down the pipe? Pike. <laughs> pike. What's coming down the pike? After the eighth one, it's supposed to protect you. I'm like. From the from evil? No, honey. But this is like the 10th one. I know. That's crazy. Gabriel sent me one. This was from a, fa- like, we got like three DTM of these. doing too much. DTM. What if I wanted a doll to protect myself from evil? I have the the Yangabang doll you got me in like 2018. Which is the essence of pure evil. Yeah. Have we, <laughs> I, and I have the little, you know, it comes with a little Katya. And she was on the floor yesterday. Honey, I walked through what the hallway and kicked her. <laughs> what does she know? I kicked her clear across the apartment. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize until she was flying through the air. That's like um, Michael Jordan. He didn't even realize until he was flying through the air. But I got to say something about this worry doll. She's got her own worries. Look at that leg. Look at that! Torn look off. at that penis. Torn off. Just kidding. Oh, just yeah, kidding. She, that's herniated disc. She's got she's got L five and L six all jumbled up down there. I'll put her down here. Worry, doll. Worry. Don't worry, doll. So wait, soap dish. Horrible, horribly transphobic ending. Um, really, really shocking. A forced retransition and then sent to Florida. Milton Moorhead from Syosset, Long Island. Hello. Remember that one? Yes. Nurse Nan is is outed as being a. Uh, 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 not Montana Moorhead, but Milton Moorhead. Yes. Spoiler alert. Huge spoiler, by the way. But Yeah. A spoiler that comes out of nowhere because at that point, saying a woman was born a man was it was enough. It was the whole joke and that yeah. was enough. However, to, to the credit of the writers, which is very little, uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s character who is courting Miss Moorhead was like, Milton? Yeah, when well, that's... But not good, not dead naming. We're not but doing that. But it's not that. the crying game. It's, it's the laughing game. It's it's the it's the curious game. Yeah. It's the. What does she know? What does she want to know? I think I would have rewritten it as she sent to Broadway. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? She's she she goes up. It's it a, been like yeah. You're. What, what, I mean, they don't use the T slur in that. They no, say she was a man. She's a boy. Because I don't even Marshall. I don't even think that slur was circulated enough for people to even know. No. Gary Marshall said she, she, it's a she's a boy. It might have been, honestly, before it was a slur. It was pre-T-word, absolutely. Cause, cause well, I, not pre-T-word, of course, but it was not used at all. It was I, not used at all. I don't mean to be a doctor on these things, but certain words, when you and I started doing drag, were, that was my sister. That was that word, Honey. Not, you're my sister, we're in this together. Yes. And I do think a lot of times they turn into slurs because of the way straight people use them. Of course. And Once also- it becomes like a, a fetishizing 3 a.m. Pornhub search. The girls well, are like, no, thank you. Well, you no, know, that but one. that's the you thing, know? though. No, it was the way to search. It, you actually fucked with their livelihood a lot of ways because if you take that uh, the T word away, there's no search word for them to to get paid. Right. You know what I mean? So they have to they have to resort to things like she mail and things like that, which are like even weirder, weirder, weirder. But yeah. the, I was just talking <clears throat> this with a friend of mine. Of a, the the women of a generation of mine or older, they didn't care about the T word, girl. They did not. They were not plucked at all. They no. did not care. No, they did not care. No. It was not an issue. It's, but hey, it's the young, it's you, the youngsters. Which I'm not going to be like, okay, boomer. Sure, no, okay, no boomer, of course. You know? if, if listen, the 18 year old queer person tells me I'm not supposed to say that, I won't say. I'm it. I'm to not say it. Really? I mean, as a public figure, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. That's true. Don't but place my language. It's, it would be odd to walk up to, let's say a trans woman our age or older and tell them what they're supposed to call themselves. Good luck to you. You know what I mean? Like 
I as wouldn't want to be white, in the room during as a that. white man, I reserve that right to tell, to tell anybody. everyone yeah, what they should be yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse your Thank mouth. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, and welcome. Can, you know, we were just in Mexico. Yes. Um, which, See. by the way, anybody who's in Richmond, Atlanta, third time's a charm. We are coming. We are coming. And Mama, you we're can't. Coming. Missy Elliott is to blame. She can't stand the rain, and neither could that Delta plane. Okay. Like. No, it was flights canceled. I'm surprised. You know, I landed in LA that day, and it was like. We're having weather. I couldn't believe we were going to land because every everybody here was like, "It's a monsoon." That's right. Because it you is funny back. that. The cars and planes in LA, when there's rain, people are like, they're like, we can't, we lose our sight. We are blinded. I think blind. in Milwaukee, a plane would take off in two feet of snow. Boston, same. Not even concerned. You would have to have a tornado and we didn't have those. So there were no canceled flights. Yeah. To Boston, 10 feet of snow. Boop. Zoop. You ever be through a turn? You ever be through a tornado? I wish like Helen Hunt. I was once. Did, I, did you know this? <laughs> we never talked about this. <laughs> I was once. <laughs> Honey. And it wasn't even in the Midwest. <clears throat> are you fucking, are you fucking this with me right now? This was the 90s. It was the 90s. Right now? I was like seven. Are you fucking no, with no, me no. right now? I was like seven years old. <clears throat> it was the 90s. Are you fucking with me? No. My grandparents took my brother and I to Disney World because my cousins, you know, they were- Florida? They were more wealthy. So they got to go to Disney all the time. Florida. Yes. Yes. And so my grandparents were like, we're going to take you kids down to Florida. So we get in this green Ford Explorer, drive from Wisconsin to Florida. You drove to Florida, you fucking mm -hmm. crazy people? Cheaper than flying at the time. I'd never flown, you know. Oh, it was tough. Uh, me and my brother, Wait, who three at the time- Take about three weeks? Hated in a oh, car. Sure. Like, oh. Right. Nobody was more over my brother than me. You would think that I was the older brother because he yeah. was like straight and five years older than me. Ugh. And all he wanted to do was rough house and like fish and watch football. And I was Mama. like, oh, I relate. I relate. He used to, I, relate. <clears throat> I think I remember that trip listening to my headphones, my CD player. What were you listening? What was on the CD? The Spice Girls. Okay. And I remember he used to call it my girlfriend music. I he'd be like, that. He'd be like, you listen to your little girlfriend music. He was right. Yeah. Brr. All the Girl power. One of the, 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 one of the PT people I've been seeing. Cause you know, I'm in collapse. Mm -hmm. Free yeah, fall. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. in a free fall. Um, Is that Prince Ted, Prince Ted or, um. Princess uh, t uh, Tiffany P PT. Oh, oh. Princess Tiffany. Pootie Tang. P Pootie Tang. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> with the music they were playing was kind of going off. It was a lot of like Daft Punk, a lot of like, I was like, hey, mm, you know, mm, <laughs> watch the elbow. Living. Watch the elbow, mm. though. Well, it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, which, by the way, I got to tell you about that too. Uh, medical updates. She's so, not hyperextended at all. It's getting, it's, it's giving, it's getting a little better. It's giving better. Is she? Remember it was like this? I do. Roll the tapes. I got a cortisol shot in the elbow, bitch. I know, but you wouldn't look like a pansy. <laughs> well, I can still do this. <laughs> um, we so can talk about needles in the joints in a second. ABBA comes on, a, don't go wasting your lay all your love on me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, I have my little band. I'm doing my little PT. I'm mm -hmm. um, most pathetic person there. And I, <laughs> I go, doubt that. I go, try to make a conversation. I go, ABBA. What? And the PT's like, I go, love it. And he was like, what's ABBA? And I said, this is ABBA. Swedish pop group. I started listening to all songs. He's like, okay. And then two songs later, Say You'll Be There came on, which is, I think, the best Spice um, Girl song. Give it, I love that it has fucking that, song. Um, I love that song. It's pretty low BPM. It's pretty like mm. slow song kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's, good. it's so cunty. It's Syrup, amazing. Syrupy. I love it. Love. And not to give credit, but you know, the Spice Girls wrote their own music, which is pretty impressive. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Tornado, who cares? They at least the wrote first drafts of it. Like they wrote on every song, which I don't think enough people talk about. It's pretty cool. I've never heard that before in my life. I thought they were, I thought they were a produced pop confection. They were, but they still, you don't know the story. They were. Tornado. Go, go, they let's were, stay on track. I'll tornado. Tornado. So, okay. We're in, we stop at a diner in like Chattanooga or something on the way home. Lady Bunny's house. Uh, it's tornado. Tornado. Bad. So we get off the road and we're, we're in a diner. And the waitress, they're looking out the window. It's a lot of windows, like a Waffle House style uh -huh, diner. Yeah, yeah. And it's like flat. You could see for, for um, sky is like almost blue. You know when it's that dark, it's like blue, um, like gray. Okay, gray. And then yeah. it's like, we start to see the shingles peel off the fucking diner and start flying away. That's how windy it is. The shingles are starting. We start being like, what are those? Are those birds? Oh my God, that's the roof. Windy breeze. So the server comes out and she goes, all right, um, I remember her voice cracking and me being like, holy shit. Cause she was like, all right, um, everybody away from the windows. 
and we all move over from the windows. And then we go into like the basement of this diner and we wait down there till it's over. Isn't that crazy? And I remember being a kid being like, well, at least we're at the, like the Waffle House. I wonder if they can do crepes. Like <laughs> we survived, but, but like seeing, seeing shingles come off and not, that's all that happened was shingles came off. That's enough for me. But I'm saying like cars didn't blow away. It was like cows flying by. Well, we lost shingles, which that was scary. But the shingles coming out the building. It, you didn't see, you weren't, your dad wasn't there. How do you know you're not Helen Hunt? Because her Cause dad got Twitter. swept up in a, in, a, in a tornado and she became a, ch- a tornado chaser because of that. So I don't know. Is Twister the new contact? They're kind of. Well, there's. Twi- they're kind of. No, s- the synovial fluid. Oh, no, no, no. There's a Twister. It, it's a, a, a Twister has an earthquake uh, sister. Do you know how the disaster movies always come in pairs, like a volcano and a, and a twister or like a, a hurricane and a snowstorm? Do you know what I mean? It does. Like they come in pairs, the those movies? movies. Yeah. Oh, it's like, I think it was like 2012 and exact, the day after tomorrow. Exactly. Why do they do that? Because they're, they're, they're stupid. I don't know. Why have one when you have two twice the price? People love disaster movies. 2012 scared the shit out of me. Mama, the tsunami movie with Miss Naomi Watts. Did you catch that? No. The tsunami that took place in 2012, I believe, in Thailand. Oh yeah, the ultimate, oh, yeah. the ultimate deep blue sea, the, the, the super shark. smart sharks. Is LL Cool J with the parrot, J Lo. Oh, Anaconda was the other J-Lo's one. J Lo's Anaconda. Yeah, you're right. It's true. It's like they have you got tethers. snakes. You got you got sharks. You got um. We've never seen those two movies in the same room at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never seen, but then they tried to really yank it off with uh, the Meg too under the trench where they got everybody. They got volcanoes, they got earthquakes, they got snakes, lizards, sharks, they got pterodactyls, they got King Kong. It's like the Marvel universe from under the sea via the Little Mermaid. Yeah. It's a little too, it's DTM doing too much. Did you like Meg? Uh, No, I watched the shit out of it. Of course I did. And then I watched Meg 2 under the trench or under the, or Miss Trunchbull starring Jason Statham. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the doll movie, Meg. Oh, Megan. Megan, sorry. (laughs) You got it, Mama. I was like, Jason. Mary, let me tell you something about straight people. Wait, we, okay, the tornado's know, done. Jason stayed there. Wait, uh, uh, hold on. I, I want to stay on track, though, because we're jumping all over the place. You're so we crazy. We never do that. Yeah. <laughs> that's the tornado story. That's it. It was incredible. I was really young, and I just remember the, 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 the voice it. of the diner waitress being like, you know, from the windows. The shingles. Yeah. That's chilling. Because the windows were, it was like someone was banging them. The wind, they were like, <laughs> The glass, you can see the glass moving. Mama, that is terrifying. That's the terrifier part four. I think I was actually too young to be terrified enough. I was like. Yeah. It was like when a bat bit me downstairs. Yeah. T. A bat bit you? Yeah. Let's take a break. (laughs) This episode is brought to you by Lalo. Once, when I was in college, I made a painting that perfectly encapsulated the idea that solo pleasure is a natural and healthy means for both men and women to explore their bodies and desires, aiding in understanding personal sexual preferences and potentially enhancing partnered experiences. While that painting now hangs in the Louvre and is admired by millions of visitors a year, the torch of that sentiment is carried on by a company called Lalo. They sent me the Soraya beads to try out, and if you've ever been invited to a bead party in your butt, you've no idea what you're missing. Each person's body is unique, so you have to put in the time to explore all the myriad options out there until you decide what feels best for your body. For me, it's butt stuff. For someone else, it could be the neck, the back, the, well, you can pick up what I'm putting down. And what's even better than exploring your body on your own? Well, exploring it with someone else. Lalo is the perfect place to find a special unique gift that can add some much needed spice in your life. Lalo's Soraya beads have a cascading pleasure design, which includes four vibrating anal beads with a gradual increase for maximum comfort when exploring anal pleasures. Additionally, their innovative bow motion technology provides powerful vibrations that resonate inside you, one bead after another. And if you're thinking to yourself, Katya, can these be used by ladies and gentle thems and everyone in between? Why, yes, they certainly can. Soraya beads allow easy access to anal pleasure for everyone. Fun is guaranteed. Keep the romance alive beyond Valentine's Day. The season of love continues at Lalo. Visit Lalo.com now for exclusive discounts on luxury products and use code BALD10 at checkout for an additional 10% off your purchase. Don't miss out. This is love extended. Again, that's Lalo.com and use code BALD10 at checkout for an additional 10% off your purchase. I don't know why we have new stories all of a sudden. Well, you know why? Because I'm going back. 
I've been doing, I've been doing family trees. I've been doing psychoanalysis. Mm-hmm. I've been talking to friends and or family, all family, going back, doing the, the timelines and going back into the childhood. RuPaul back to my roots. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Red hot. Yeah. Black hair. <laughs> I love red hot. Do you? Did you know RuPaul, um, cover girl was 1994. When I did looking good, feeling gorgeous. I was like, I don't really know RuPaul's early career timeline. Okay. So I deep digged it, deep dived. Yeah. Deep dug. 1994 was supermodel. Mm-hmm. Um, or 1995, one of the two. Um, Red Hot was not for a decade later. Oh, wow, really? It's like a whole 10 years where RuPaul was just, she did some talk shows and stuff, yeah, but she, she didn't was really down have, and out in Beverly Hills. Yeah, and even like yeah. Looking Good, Feeling Gorgeous, those weren't as big of hits. Mm. But it's it's crazy because I thought Supermodel was so big, it was probably just like success, success. But it really- No, she had she had real ebb and flow to her career that she talks about quite a bit. It's like, very, she was struggling. Yeah, same she with was, Michelle. And I love, it's very encouraging. Yeah. Because I always worry about work stuff. I don't know if you ever felt that. But. No, not one. I'm not really sure. What is it, worry? I need to be more like you. Is that how you spell that? I was just telling them today. <laughs> Who would play her? She's had to figure it out. There's nothing cute about losing sleep about work, overworking, no. your body being in pain from work. No. There's nothing cute about it. There's nothing cute about There's it. There's nothing admirable about it. There's nothing virtuous about it. No. I, thank you. That's a my revelation on the pod today. I was talking to my friend about hypervigilance. A quality that my mother and I used to share. It's it's just you know hyper. You always because if you think about it, sleepless nights, anxiety, worry, they're very natural. It, they're very natural. You should not. Or the eight hour uninterrupted sleep cycle is something that is unnatural. Sure, because we're not meant historically. We have to. We do worry and we do stay up and we have disturbed sleep because of you know, ev- you know biological evolutionary reasons. But like. When you were able to kind of get this under control, this life situation, it's really nothing to worry about. Yeah. Well, that being said, there's one thing that I, I woke up in a panic the other day and I was like, <gasps> money for the first time since 32 years old. But I had the freedom from the fear of economic insecurity, which I found out is has nothing to do with having money. Nothing to Susie do with having money. Norman on the Women and Money podcast says... Money is supposed to make you feel more comfortable. Yeah. So if you have more of it, but it's making you more uncomfortable. More money, more problems. It's supposed to make you feel secure. Yeah. And most people get more money and get more insecure, which makes no sense. Yeah. I mean, I was the happiest of my life when I was poor and owed $20,000 to my employer and it was on a payment plan. The most free from it I've ever been. Because you were like, it is what it is. It is what it is. And also I was like, I can't go to the movies. It's not an option. I can't buy this thing. It's not an option. And I was like, I had a singleness of purpose and I was like, this is my mission. I, I had enough. Well, now here's the thing though. I had enough to live, which mm. is the big, that's the big key. Cause I was talking to my brother. We grew up with not, with everything we needed, but not everything we wanted. Sure. Which is a very important distinction. Do you know what I mean? Like economically, you guys probably didn't have enough. I'm, I'm assuming. No, but no. I- <clears throat> No, but I didn't even really realize till later. Yeah. Because it was always not enough. You yeah. think like, that's normal. It's yeah. not normal. It's not normal. And, it, and it's, there's a tremendous shame around that level of poverty, but we didn't have bells and whistles, but we had everything we needed. We didn't have cars. Nobody had a car. We didn't have computers. Nobody had a computer. It was too much money. Do you know what I mean? It was wild, but we were always taken care of. We always had food. We always had access to physical activity and access to education, but we did not have a lot of money. We got a computer, which makes sense because- one computer, a family computer. What do poor people love to do? Spend money on something they do not have the money for. It. So like we had a computer, but we didn't have a lot of basic things, which I think back and I'm like- Like what? Like what, for example? Well, I remember like not going on field trips because- like, Same. I remember a yeah. uh, roller skating field trip was $12. And I remember like- Oh shit. Being like, okay, well, we're not going. Okay. That, but that, <laughs> you that, know, like, that's really poor. I'm like, I just think back and be like, there's things we had. I think, let's just say when Christmas came along, my mom, whatever I asked for, I got. What we still yeah. we, we had like you know a car that barely ran we all lived in yeah. a trailer yeah. but my mom was like you will get that toy for Christmas which I appreciate that's incredible I yeah. think that's good it's amazing yeah I mean looking back I'm like shouldn't we have had dental but like <laughs> I didn't ask for dental for Christmas <laughs> you didn't, you didn't. I asked for a Furby bitch and if you would have showed up with a fucking dentist you'd be like I love well see we got braces and they were three thousand dollars that's a lot of fucking money bitch in 1996 which is what twelve thousand honestly. Now, I would, yeah, with like, inflation, probably, yeah, up there. And I loved every minute, I, mama, every dollar of those chompers. I, I, I felt every 
inch of those dollars on my teeth. I loved it. Three years of it. <laughs> I want to get them again. Lately, I've been having... Um, Do you want to get them with me? Braces? Yeah. No. You would look so cunt with I had this one for 38 weeks. Girl, ain't nobody caring about that. Well, Queen of Flips. What about her? Braces. But but I thought... She's she, the Queen of Flips. She flips around. With her me. Instagram is Queen of Flips. Okay. That's why I call her Queen of Flips. Oh. Please, did you know that Tammy calls Eureka Big Fat Baby? Love. Because of... T- Tammy picks her own, like... Yeah. Pet I'm Trixie Pixie Wixie, Big Fat Baby. Yeah. I was like, does she know you call her that? She was like, yeah, she knows I call her Big Fat Baby. Lady Bunny calls me Ratia. So, <laughs> coming from Hello, her, Ratia. Do you feel like you got knighted? Yes, Dave. you feel like Sir Ian Dave, McKellen? Dave, yeah. Yes. Wait, can I look at my, oh, music. Sure. First item on my agenda mm-hmm. is music. Do you want to get in a rap battle? It makes me lose control. Oh, of yeah, my of bowels. course. No, I'm working on music. Good for you. I, the people have clamored. Well, they didn't ask. No, it, they didn't. They didn't want. They did not they're desire. Getting. Yeah, they're gonna get. Yeah, it's it's great. It's devil music, Mary. It's um. I, I'm working on it. I guess you'd call it an album. It's not going to be on a CD, but it's um. We're doing a cover of the Electric Hellfire Club, um, a cover of Anton Lavey's Honolulu Baby, to Church of Satan. She checked out. Fierce. And then um, a cover of uh, the most famous Russian song ever recorded called a million red roses and it's it's so scary it's so scary like you gonna put scary. out for halloween no we're gonna put out for um as soon as we can probably like march I, maybe march i don't know april something like that but um it's all it's so scary scary you're doing video though. content oh yes oh, i yes. hate but it's good i hate making music well this is a little different we're making an exercise video oh fitness and fun can I hear some of it sometime? Oh yeah, I got three demos in my on my phone. Yeah, send them out to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna play them for you later. Yeah, it, it's it's scary. Maybe Tomas will give me the project and let me remix it. Freelance, I won't expect you money. I would love that, especially Honolulu a baby. Bag. And we could leak it. A we could tape. go on Instagram a live, but tape. you could cry that it got leaked. Yes, cry and pat of my bloody tears. Oh my god, I love that. Um, but it's going to be, it's, it's so fun. The working with them is like the funnest thing in the world. It's so fun. I cannot, I, I can't get, I have to emotionally downregulate. Ashley, Ashley Levy. Who, Ash Gordon. Ash yeah. Gordon. Yeah. Yes. Ash Gordon. Who's written, we had songs together and she's written some of my music. She's the diva. Great. The and diva. then Tomas, I think he's like not embarrassed, but um, he's of the band Diffuser. Diffuser if you yeah. guys are millennial and on. Mm-hmm. Um, he has a framed copy of the Freaky Friday soundtrack because I had that CD and I was like, oh my God, you were in Diffuser. And he's a horror nut, like a huge horror nut. Yeah. And we've been bonding over that. And I actually, he was at the board uh, the other day arranging the um, the vocals for this track and watching football on four screens. And um, and he's just so like, I, I've, I've never related or like bonded with a straight man the way that I have with him. It's so, it's so uh, interesting. Yeah, he's fierce. He's so Potty fierce. Potty mouth. Of course, yeah. He'd be like, we'll be working on a track, and he'll be like, this shit sounds fucking yeah. good, bitch. Yeah. Like, I mean, we went on a rant about Nancy Pelosi's big, huge, tan, Italian, gilfy breasts. It was cunty. Be a gilfy coast. Yeah. <laughs> she said be a gilfy coast. The gilf coast. The the gilf- gilf- <laughs> Off the coast of Mexico, Miss Nancy Pelosi is sunning her breasts. Oh, her, I've never missed breath. the soundboard until just <laughs> now. Know, you know what I mean? I forgot about <laughs> It needed the creepy one. I don't know why. She was, uh, Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, spotted on the Gulf Coast with her huge tan Italian breasts out. <laughs> Lauren Boebert was nearby jerking it. No, Lauren Boebert ran by on a razor scooter and put two <laughs> clothespins on each of Nancy's nipples. And Nancy got up and said, what? She said, what? January 6th, this pussy. Oh. Well. And where were you? I was um, doing. Did you porn. watch the oh. Bob and Maddie rap battle? We need to talk about Kevin. Rap fighting. Kevin, aka Maddie, fighting through the art of rap. Maddie Morphosis. I did not watch that season. Full disclosure. I think I was on the pit stop for it. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I, well, I watched your pit stop with Maddie, and I was struck first of all by how stunning yeah, she, she is. Looks great, she does, and she's so funny. And I know I, every I, what I learned from that episode is everybody's late to the party on the Maddie train. You know what's funny? I think at first because she was straight, everyone's like. Now, but let me tell you, if being gay was a precursor to good drag, that's not the world we that's live in, no, bitch. Mama, Do you know yeah. how many faggots suck at drag, bitch? Uh, thank you. Do you know thank the gayest you. person? Mm-hmm. Mary, Sexuality I, is no indication of your goodness of drag. 
I that hate to be that girl, but I have an audio that I sent you that I think goes along with the Maddie conversation okay. that we need to listen to. Let's do it. My old cock. Okay, wait. <laughs> Hold on. This is it. Gays that don't do drag love to be like, I just know I would eat on RuPaul's Drag Race. What part? You can't do makeup. You can't walk in heels. We're watching you struggle to step touch in the club. Your wardrobe is full of sheen. You can't afford the runway. You haven't told a joke successfully since I've known you. Like, what part of RuPaul's Drag Race do you think you'd be successful in? You're not. You're scared of confrontation. You wouldn't even be good and untucked. Be so real with yourself when you're watching this. Be so real and be thankful that we have enough talented drag queens in the world to make for such a great show. Be so real with yourself. Gaze that <laughs> she she left no fucking crumbs, bitch. That's Peter Toto on TikTok, and I was like, "You're right." Chomp, chomp. I don't think the gay guys have the nerve to say it around like you or me. No. But I think when other drag queens are around, they go like, "Right." I would eat. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. No, you, you wouldn't. It would go in your mouth and you would cough on it, choke yeah. it up, like a salty cracker lay down. with nary a glass of water around. Yeah. I don't you, know what it is about drag that makes people it's the I I can do that ism. Yeah. You don't watch Top Chef and go, I could cook that. Let's see you do a fucking winged liner, you cunt. No, no I can't even do ask it. Any woman like, if they can, I can't do symmetrical brows. Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 um let's get a glue stick and put you in a saw trap and see what happens. <laughs> It's not going to happen. It's they not do not happen. understand the. They don't understand the level of um the the level of jack of all trade of it all and the master of none. Like they look at all the parts and they're like, oh yeah, but they don't really see that like um many we, of these skills requ uh, require ten to fifteen years to approach mastery. Yeah, we speak like broken English in like five languages and drag. Yeah. We sew a little. Yeah. We dance a little. Yeah, we yeah, do yeah. comedy a little. There are people whose entire lives are dedicated to sewing lace. I know. Do you know what I mean? When it comes to one little thing, they're like, okay, I'm an expert installer of zippers. That's their entire career. I know. You know what I mean? There's like, and well, so that's when you, why when you see drag queens, when they walk away, if they made the costume, they're usually wearing long hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because so if fucked. they've got four way stretch and they do a zipper on it, it goes, it goes boom, it's like a spine, out. like a dinosaur yeah. spine. Yeah. 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 And it's, yeah. All how, these, would you, how would you fix that? that bias tape? Uh, no, what you do is you you have to pull the um as you sew the zipper on. First of all, you can't do an invisible, but as you sew the zipper on, you have to pull the um the fabric as you sew it, and but you have to pull it at the same tension on each side. So it's very very difficult to do. But you have to so you have to pin it, of course. Yeah, and it's still um you Just have pin to pin the shit out of it. Pin the shit out of it, and you got to measure um you have to, and then you got to dart the shit out of it. Yeah. You got to dart the back so that it hugs to the body and is more of a body contact. I hate when it's the butt and the oh. shoulders and it's like a fabric tent. My favorite thing is to two fierce darts and it with a zigzag. Oh, it's I've cunty. seen you do it. Yeah, I love. I mean, I've I, I it. love it. Four way uh, sewing stretched is no it's joke. Not easy. No, it's I not. learned to sew from a flat patterning book. From I never like, learned that. I never learned that. So that's how I learned was yeah. I made a pattern of my bodice, pattern of my mm -hmm. bottom, and then I made like three sleeves, two skirts, and I just Lego mixed and mixed and match. Yeah. And that Smart. was nice because I built it for my real measurements. Yeah. So everything fit perfect. Yeah. But I never used stretch. And every, drag queens are always like, it's so easy. You just trace your body. Years later, when I started using stretch, it can go very awry. Of course. Because also it's um, the, the fabric can be slippery. To, if you don't, because I don't, mama, I don't pinch it. I don't pinch it. So I like, I, I know this great. I do everything wrong, but it still works for me because it's stage wear. After, at the end of the day, it's not going on the rack. You're it's not giving it to someone else. No. If I'm making something for somebody else, I'm high stress. I can't do it. When somebody's like, I like that. Can I borrow it? I would go, no. I made that. Yeah. So Ain't no lining. Just so you know, I made that. Yeah. There's sequin, uh, uh, raw sequin <laughs> edges that are going to chop but up your blood. arms and legs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, no, no. Or like, uh, yeah, you can wear it, but like, don't turn, don't turn around <laughs> in it. <laughs> apron. Remember my apron phase? The front facing apron phase for on camera? The paper doll phase. Thank you. Thank you. When we, there's episodes of all where this person has boobs tied in a knot. The, mm -hmm. the latex is tied in a knot behind her. Yeah. Disgusting. But also utilitarian. And I let my nasty little skin breathe. Boop, boop. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. But you can't wear it anywhere. It's, it's a one. It's, it's, a, it's a context dependent outfit. It's half off. It's, you got it for half <laughs> off. Really? <laughs> totally. This episode is sponsored by Pure for Men. In this day and age, you need to be ready for anything because life will not wait for you, darling, sweetie. And when that big spontaneous moment falls into your lap, what if you weren't just ready, you were confident? That's exactly what our sponsor, Pure for Men, is all about. Pure for Men offers the leading cleanliness fiber supplement that helps keep you confident from daytime to playtime. 
Their Stay Ready Fiber Supplement is a unique blend of psyllium husk, aloe vera, chia seeds, and flaxseed. Just two servings a day and you can experience their proven results. Backed by clinical studies, the Stay Ready Fiber improved participants' confidence and readiness for intimacy at short notice by 89%. This unique proprietary blend has 80% more fiber per capsule than what's in the market, so you know you're getting the best thing out there. Pure for Men is the brand for good health and good times, and not just that, but their products are made by gay men for members of LGBTQ plus community. A uh, real talk, guys, I did a commercial for Pure for Men back in the day when they were getting started, and I was a little skeptical, but you know what? They have stood the test of time, and I stand by their products 100%. So don't just get ready, stay ready with Pure for Men Stay Ready Fiber. Visit puremen.co slash baldandbeautiful and get 20% off with promo code BALD20. That's puremen.co slash baldandbeautiful, promo code BALD20. The other day we were on this plane, and I wonder if you remember. I really do, because I was seated in 1A on a flight. And I went into, I went, I'm going to, I did some poopies in the bathroom. I'm so sorry to tell. And I, I, I I talked to an airline, a flight attendant that I'm currently talking to romantically. And I, and I confessed that I did something so unforgivable. And he confirmed that it was in fact that I spritzed perfume on my neck in the bathroom and then went right back to my seat. And that blower sure did blow my little Tom Ford. I wouldn't do that. Oh, no fucking shit. I realized that right after I sat down on this little puddle the jumper. Whole audience, the whole audience. The whole audience is going to know who did that. Well, and I, thought to, my, I, I thought to myself, <laughs> do they want... I, I don't think shit wafting smell is really going to flood the close cabin. the door, Mary. Oh, no, no. I don't close the door when I poop. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I would... I would give That's you... That's crazy. I would give you $10,000... To get on a plane mm-hmm. and take a shit with the door open, mm-hmm. I would give you ten thousand dollars backwards. But I have to be able to film and laugh. But like head in the bowl, <laughs> face, uh, pu- uh, but but on the uh, outside that door, the head is in the bowl. But so is, by is, back is, shots, it, yeah. that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah. But I I came, I sat in that chair, and I saw, I was like, the horror. My face turned maroon. Love. I put the cans on, and I put my sunglasses on, and put my hood over my head, and then I just stewed in my own humiliating, embarrassing, like red hot sweating. You should have known better. Of course, right? I, people make mistakes some, from time to time. It was horrible, and people started to go, Whoa. and then, uh, uh, and you were seated three seats behind me. So, I didn't even smell it. See, there you go. Maybe I didn't do it. That's the. T- I was like, if. I'm going to get off this flight and you're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But you didn't. So maybe I didn't do it that wrong. I don't know. No, it was fine. I smelled it like it was, I mean, it was very strong. I get, I do horse blinders though on planes. I'm usually watching the office on one a, but, screen but and playing my Nintendo. different than nose. I know, but even like spiritually, I, I bubble okay. boy. Oh, that's I, I don't look at anyone. The yeah. flight, the flight is just to be like, yeah. Did you want Diet Coke? <laughs> I like really do not. Perfect, perfect uh, passenger. Honestly. I think so too. I, I say, I'm not here. Don't look at me. Yeah. Don't look well, at that's me. that's how I feel in this building. In this building. What? This perfect what? passenger. No oh. dogs, no kids. Honey, no I travel noise. most of the time. I know. Perfect so like, tenant. any of you perfect, hoes? Perfect resident. Yes. And I pay the same HOA fee, bitch. And I don't even have a car. Thank you. Hello. So I don't even park in this. Not cloud, not a uh, parking, uh, not a uh, uh, gunking up that garage. Everybody in this building has 12 dogs, 16 children. And 14 and, cars. And, and it makes candles at home. Like it, the smells. <laughs> I, I, well, and cheerleading teams. My side teams. hustle is making spicy curry. And, and my, my main job is, is playing, pouring candles. And playing the tuba. <laughs> entirely. <laughs> My kids, chamber music. Yes, my kids are like the Von Trapps. They sing all day. Tap they make, dancing, yes. bowling, wrestling, sewing machines, <laughs> making outfits. Everyone in this building. Everyone it, in this building. Industrial sewing machines in the studio, in the residential studio that I. <laughs> have you heard? You've heard shake. Andrew, Mama, my surger in Andrew's um, industrial. It's Armageddon. It, that's two disaster movies <laughs> concurrently. Like it's cuckoo. It's so loud. You better in the whole never movie. sew your finger with that industrial because it's going through oh. the bone. It's going through the bone, bitch. No, it wouldn't go through the bone. The needle would break. Remember those drag race sewing machines? Ooh, the heavy gotta, duty ooh, ones? Like a, Flop. Those were not heavy duty. That's what those I'm saying. Like he- heavy duty, like D-O-O-D-I-E. Also heavy duty for what? The fabric you give us is four-way tissue, four-way stretch tissue paper. It's rot. Those see-through I fabric. hated those. Just so, so you, y'all know at home, those sewing machines, just to complicate things worse for people who don't know how to sew, those machines are boo-boo. They got them from boo-boo.com, half off, and they're boo-boo. They're nasty and they don't work. Yeah. That's it. Can I talk about Maddie again? 
Oh, I, yes. Okay, I, sorry. Wait, wait, no, no. Can I just say me two things? Yeah, sure. Okay. She was so, she made me howl. She made me howl on the pit stop with you. She's hilarious. She read you so fiercely right off the top and it was so funny. You know why we like that? I, yeah, you explained it because to me and I Because we like straight guy humor. Yeah. You and I like- We don't do fierce Jeff mama and Ron boots. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Like my brother, like yeah. my Louis brother CK. is so funny and so mean to me. Yeah. And that's what I'm used to. Yeah. And so Maddie, like you and I don't, I mean, we, we're gay. But straight guy, like Tim and Eric humor, well, we t- lit. Oh, you t- know, I watched the new Curb last night twice because it had me on the floor howling. Yeah. Howling. Howling. It's so funny. I'm not watching, um, 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 uh, I don't even know what a gay comedy is. Well, you did watch and just like that. I hate watched it though. Okay. A masochistic hate watch. And that's not even gay. And it's about straight people. It's straight people. There's hardly a gay people on that. There's hardly a gay people on that. And just like that. Thought, and, ju- and, that just like, and just like crap would be. Maddie, I just, I'm open to everyone. And it made mm. me think like, well, we don't care about gay guys doing drag. We don't care about women doing drag. I guess some people do. Yeah. We don't care about bisexuals <sighs> doing drag. It's so the gay community to be like, you're different than us. Other, we don't like it. But guess what, Mary? If they're Historically, straight. Dame Edna, all these people, crossdressers, Tiffany Rue, Club. Rue, Rue's married to Holland Taylor. <laughs> and he fucks that pussy. And Sarah is a beard, a lesbian beard. RuPaul and Holland, are you kidding me? In flagrante delicto, married, attached to the, the hip, Holland Tunnel. Conjoined, conjoined twins. <laughs> yeah. There, uh, many straight people have done drag. Um, Cloris Leachman and Rue, oh my God. Cloris Le- and, um, Like bunnies. Yeah. Frau Blucher. Yeah. Um, stay close to the candles. The, Ru- the RuPaul can be treacherous. Stay close to the pussy. <laughs> the runway can be treacherous. <laughs> But no, it, uh, Andrew was telling me is like historically, gay, drag is not drag cross dressing, uh, theatrical cross dressing is not a gay sport by any means whatsoever. I was like, Mary, straight people don't have to be bad at drag because gay guys in drag are not necessarily good. No, gay guys are taking care of the flop part of drag. Ta- We've got that on lock. Yeah, okay? we're gonna let the straight people pull up the rear. Yeah. <laughs> I would be fine if Maddie literally became RuPaul. It would make so much sense. Well, like, lip sync the- battle. Yeah, they eat. Sorry, they eat. Yeah, they eat. Well, they're designed to be Aiden. Like well, they're, when, they, they're, when you book lip sync battle, they go, don't worry. We make everyone look amazing. Yeah. We're going to do a tornado. You're going to be anti M and then turn yeah. into Dorothy. And then no, the no, witch. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, Girl, you know, 100%. when they do drag race, they go, no matter how well you do. Yeah. We could really make you look like a flop. Yeah. We're going to put you on a, 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 a greased metal stage with some pleaser boots, no walls, no bracing at the end of the day while you're literally crying you're and have to pee. You're going to be doing a Paul Abdul B-side from 1987. Yeah. That you just got in your iPod yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday. It's so, it's oh, so English out of pocket. Oh, English is your first language. Doesn't matter. Here's the lyrics. Yeah. Perfect. There's 14 verses of this one and three, uh, pr- three pre-courses in Swahili. You know, I, I don't know why we always talk about drag race, but, but... Girls who don't speak English as a first language, mm-hmm. them having to learn lip syncs in English is ju- is, it's, is it's, even more difficult. I know shit. No shit. And with the timeline, you know how long it took me or it takes me to learn a song in Russian? Like six months. Yeah. I'm not joking. I always have them pre, I got a, like a, be, when, back when I was doing all that stuff, I had a, a, a catalog of songs. I was like, okay, I'm listening to this in May. I'll be, I'll be ready in September. Shit. Seriously. Cause you got to know the song so well. It takes me so long. Even English lyric. Girl. People would do the. Britney would come out with a track on Friday and Queens would be performing on Saturday night. Well, that's like when your brain is young and spongy. But also it's when the lyrics are like, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, huh. That's a little bit easier. But some songs like Work Bitch, I, I can't tell what she's saying. Here I, comes, does she say, here comes the governor? Because that's what I'm go saying. Go call the governor. I did that song and go I call never the learned governor. the lyrics. I, like, Go, yeah, go, go call, call the, the police. Governor. I'd be lip syncing like, the governor. go call the governor. Is that right? Yeah. The governor. Oh, me too. I'd be like, you want a Maserati? You want a who? I'm like, what's a Maserati? What's a Bugatti? Girl. Yeah. I it, I don't even know what it is. It's so weird. That's And the video is so ter- terrible. Those CGI sharks. Deep blue sea. I love work, bitch. You know, I live for nothing more than, you want to? Ah! Uh, it's a good plank song. Ah! Uh, it's a good plank song. You want to? The audience, when they hear the, you want to? D- horny. D- yeah, they get horny. Yeah, get it's horny. an earworm. Um, wait, so speaking of horny, I want to talk about um, uh, the breaking of my porn cleanse and my favorite porno actor of the moment. Is that Great. okay? He's a Frenchman named, his porn name is Chris Damned. Um, oh, yeah. And um, he's so, he's he's a movie star. Mm-hmm. He's a movie star. He looks like James, he's James Dean-ish. I think I follow this person. I, I hope you do. Tattoos? Yeah. 
Yeah. He's from Marseille, France, and we're, we've become buddies and we speak French together and we, I practice my French with him. And he came over last night in his incredible souped up Jeep, souped up Jeep, wow. souped up Jeep. And then he parked it in my little garage. And then we watched, I made him watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, even though he didn't want to. It was my second time and I laughed way too loud. Like, ha, 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 ha. And I looked over, isn't this funny? And he was like, he was like, uh, he was like, yeah. I think he fell asleep a couple of times and he's, I, I, I watched well, the chloroform, <laughs> the G, you the fell G, asleep. The G. I laced his Coke with G. He fell um, asleep. You said, why don't you watch this? And you pulled down a gas mask <laughs> and through the, the essential air, little clouds, <laughs> the, the glade plug in is literally just, um, is I laugh. Yeah. I love in movies when it's like nerve gas and they sell smoke coming out of a grate and then everyone just, uh, that's my favorite thing. Love. I love that. That's shit. right up there with one hand on a cliff. Well, no, but it's believable though. Needle in the neck is no good. Needle in the neck, hanging on the cliff. A gas through the radiator, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And then walking in with gas mask, Rob, I love that. But so this, I watched him in a porno this morning. My trans sister, trans sister radio. Mm -hmm. So the, the premise, of course, the premise is that he, his friend, he's playing video games with his friend, his male friend, and then in pops in the sister who's trans. Oh. And then and then they go to the kitchen and he sure does bump, bonk, bonk, beat it up in her bum bum. You know, give it up for the trans girls in porn because I, I would think that for gay guys, what is it? A spray tan and obviously dieting and exercise for the women. Sometimes not even. Lashes, foundation, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. lip color, uh -huh. hair, tracks, uh -huh. nails. Bundled, sniped. Yeah, I mean, these plucked, women to perform and drag a little bit. Like sex is not... Well, the women are doing it too. The, reg, the, not the sort of... That's what I mean. Bi women yeah. in general. Yeah. like Lashes for the gangbang, honey. I know. Eyes running. 301's like, at the Bukkake. Oh, God. 301's at the Bukkake. Yeah. 301's at the Bukkake. It's tough. Yeah. L'Oreal's uh, uh, Shine and Stay or, or Dream Matte Moose at the Bukkake. Derma wow. Blend at the <laughs> But wait, so long story short, he's so handsome He's such a movie star because you know how a lot of the a lot of I mean I do because I'm a porn addict. I've noticed that many porn performers don't necessarily have what you would describe as star quality. They're gorgeous. They're 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 doing the job very well. They're extremely desirable, but they don't seem to have to possess this movie star quality where they're natural actors. They're fo very photogenic. They're just watchable. Uh -huh. They're just magnetic. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker is so magnetic. I'm in love with him. Does he know? Unfortunately for him, he does. I was going to say, knowing you, you probably said, I'm sorry. I would fuck you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would fuck you though. No, I and said, he was like, is I this your house? Yeah. Should I go inside? No, I said, tu sais que je suis tombé amoureux de toi. He said, sure. He said, uh, uh. I like your car. What kind is it? Le Jeep. Is le Jeep souped up. Uh? Le Jeep souped. Uh. <laughs> Range Rover. Range Rover. Me radiator. But he's so hot. It's so crazy. It's not crazy. No, it's not crazy. I'm just saying it's like, you know, I was like, as a goblin. If he was like, he's disgusting. He does porn. That's crazy. Yes, that's true. That's true. You know. That's true. Yeah. But God damn, is he, he's a movie star to me. I but think I, he's a movie I think star. it's straight porn. The guys can be pretty dumpy because the guys want to think, oh, oh, I could fuck Kevin her. Kevin James with Leah Remini. I mean, that's not porn. I was going to say, but that's, did you watch the unedited the, version <laughs> of King of Queens where he just bends her over the kitchen Homer counter? Homer Simpson and Marge. Honey, well, there you go. Thank you. And Marge kind of. She eats. She does. Yeah, she's that got dress that every hair. day, that gown every day. Yeah, strapless, titties out, yellow titties, bober at the theater with a with a pearl necklace, pearl, honey. And then thank you, you know, thank you, you know about the pearl click necklace. clack mules. Oh my, oh my, I got a pearl oh necklace. Me. Come fuck my yellow butt. Is that your Marge? I know Julie. It's not very good. Julie Klausner, not Julie Klausner. Mm. Oh my, mm. kind of a little better. I sound like the Queen of Flips, Cher. <laughs> <laughs> so you do a good Marge. Can we flip your hair? Mm. Oh, me. That's pretty good. <laughs> it could be Julie worse. Kavner. Could Julie Kavner. Julie Kavner. Um, psoriasis is my next topic. Do you have psoriasis? No, you don't. Where did that come from? Have you always had it? Is that psoriasis? Mm -hmm. Tell me about psoriasis. It's horrible. I only knew one person who had it. I, it is often confused. Eczema is a different. Um, so I had it when I was fired from the tea shop from corporate on the phone at the emergency room for my dermatology appointment. I had psoriasis all over my face. Double humiliation. Is it congenital? Is it like born with it? Um, is it's it Maybelline? From Maybelline. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I think it's a, it's a very um, commonly a white person flesh afflicted disease. Um, that could be not true. Girl, um, lately, 
My skin can't take drag lately. It just can't. The shaving. Who are you telling? And then once my face is irritated, I'm putting makeup on it. The next day it looks worse. And then I have to shave again, put makeup on it. And then it looks worse. At my age and at my mileage, three days a row in drag. And I'm talking if we're doing... Wet, wet mud over blood, blood, blood. Yeah, and it's um. Then you're in. You're getting ingrown hairs that are infected. You're getting. It's it's pizza time. It's pepperoni pizza from Domino's. It's it's the grudge. It's it's not the. Moment. I have to really do now like hot water on the face for several minutes, yes. and then brand new razor every time. Oh, I, I've been doing hot, hot compresses to pull out the pores and get the, the skin open. And I mean, I call the manufacturing company. I have them come into my room to to sharpen the blades like a samurai sword. Yeah, and then I and I throw them away. Which are so expensive, by the way. Do you have a good so, dermatologist? Absolutely not. I want to go to a dermatologist. I'm the only beauty YouTube person who doesn't, who doesn't incessantly talk about their dermatologist. On retainer, yeah. Well, Lori's coming to my house on Saturday to to, to rip my. <laughs> yes, she's gonna get Lori take- Petty and Chris <laughs> Damned are coming over, and we're doing a three way scene. <laughs> With is, is Lori Petty a lesbian? I'm not sure. I don't mean to profile, but no, because of orange okay. is the new black. I just think like oh, and also and- League of Their Own. A Ooh, that's dyke-y. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think she's she fabulous. What a great actress. Orange yeah. is the New Black, she she plays a, you've seen it. I have not seen her in Orange is the New Black. No, I you haven't. You should go watch it. I will, I will. The acting, anybody who watches it, please sound off in the comments. Yeah, yeah. A, a show all about women, not well, about no, men. No, no, I've seen not it. Not about men. I've seen the first couple seasons. It's but, about the politics of women's. Yeah. Lori Petty shows up like season, very the later. last two maybe. Yeah. And she plays a very mentally unwell woman. Problems with reality and grasping what's Maybe real. Maybe I have seen her. I think you've played her. Uh, yeah, Anne Hayes as me as her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh but my she's gosh. so, they have her in prison garb and they love to pretend, like all those actresses, they love to pretend they're not gorgeous. What I loved about Orange is the New Black is when they would go to the Emmys, you'd be like, those are the same women? They're not in a jumpsuit. <laughs> well, they would be in no hair, no makeup oh, in this right. prison gym. Yeah, right, 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 right. And you see them in their glam and you're like, damn. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I think <laughs> mm. I think that I th- Lori I th- wait so Lori say Lori with it Lori <laughs> my penny I think that Natasha Leon could play Marge oh of course oh yeah who well, would play Homer but they did a funny thing as um oh, who would play Homer um Kevin James I literally thought you were gonna say that guy that's in Wicked the singing guy the blonde guy oh I don't know I've never seen Wicked. Wicked. The talk show guy. Let's get loud. Let's go. I'm so sorry. I can't remember his name. Enrique He's Iglesias? British and blonde. Oh, 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 James Corden. Yeah, I thought you were going to say him for horror. Oh, oh, he ain't gay. How's that? Yeah, of course. I don't think he's gay. He's not. Anna Winter says he's his favorite comedian. I was like, Miss Winter, you are suspicious. Suspicious. I don't have the hate for him that seems no, like a I lot don't of people either. do, but I, I wouldn't say he's probably a lot of people's favorite comedian. That's a little off the beaten path. Anna Winter. I was just a little disappointed that Anna's not more into alternative comedy. Like, Thank I'm you. surprised she didn't say, you know, Whitmer Thomas or like Joe Firestone, just like doing the work and going out to shows and just like knowing a little more about <laughs> <Yeah>. comedy. So <laughs> supporting people who really need it. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, that makes it seem like both of those comics have small careers. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I meant. They're Wait, both l- icons. Last thing, comedy wise, uh, are you pumped up for first time female director, bitch? What are you talking about? The, the movie First Time Female Director that is um, about to brace Hulu on March something. You gotta go. We're gonna go watch the trailer right now because it's so cunty. Cunty. Chelsea Peretti, Amy Poehler, Meg Stalter, um, Megan Mullally. The list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So many. Uh, Benny Drama. So many people. It looks incredible. Can't wait. It's I, incredible. I have an acting job next week. You talk about it. I have to fly to Atlanta. I can't say what it is. Oh. But it's but The Godfather 4. And I got a guest star and Mary. Are you so pumped? No. Oh. I, I, yes. I'm honored. Oh. And every time I audition for something, I don't get it. So when I get something where they ask me directly, I always say yes. To, for me to have to Wait, memorize so lines. Oh, yeah. I'm like, fuck. Oh, yeah. How about how about like Hamlet? The character vapes? I'm going to have to learn to vape. Well, I could teach you. <laughs> yeah. Habibi? Habibi? Yeah. I'll teach you how to and vape. And the character is kind of um, Fat? trashy. Oh, tra- So they... They were I'll like, teach you, you need that to too. grow out your hair and not shave your head so it looks kind of patchy and horrible. And I went, I'm in like a wife, a wife pleaser with like a vape. I a play wife, like, not the wife pleaser. Well, you're not a supposed shirt, to say wife shirt. beater. You can say tank top or a shirt. I could say wife beater. I'm from a family of abuse. <laughs> you know, last thing, could we button on this? I have never, ever, and I'm, I, I'm rotted. You know that. It has never, ever felt right to me that that has 
been used in common parlance. And I mean, it's never felt okay, ever, for that phrase to have existed. It's, it's never de- felt and, okay and to me. And it's derogatory to the shirt. It's just a tank top. It's just it's an a, it's undershirt, a, a tank top, or a shirt. Like, there's three other words you could call it that are actually As more if you descriptive. you put that shirt on and you're like, Ugh. yeah. Well, time to do some domestic violence. Where's my mention, brie? Not okay, everybody brie. who wears that shirt is married. There's no wife to beat, bitch. Thank you. Yeah, you're ugly ass. You can't get a date. You wish you had a wife to beat, bitch. <laughs> you fat bitch. You ugly bitch. <laughs> so Goodbye. I don't know. Wife. Brandon told me to say wife pleaser. That's that's weirder. Is that like when people say unalive instead yes. of- Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just say a shirt or tank top Girl. or undershirt or whatever. A shirt. A shirt. That's what it's actually, that's what the retail would call it. You don't go up to Macy's and be like, I need a pack of three wife beaters. I know. Um, I just wanted to say too, before we go, Bald and the Beautiful Richmond Atlanta is rescheduled to March only. So we will see you guys in a few weeks. Yeah. So, and we Pending owe weather. you- Pending weather. We owe fruit baskets. Oh my God. Everybody's going to get a car. Yeah. A miniature car. Do you think- <laughs> a miniature car under their table under their table That's one car yeah each table will have a car there's there're going to be three cars yeah okay, okay bye, bye.